welcome back to Fandom Vintage. My name is Lily. Now today we are having Herbology 101 and lesson one will be about dirigible plums. Now while I'm telling you about these magical plants, I will also be showing you how I painted them in watercolor. So let's get started. The dirigible plum, an orange-colored radish-like magical fruit that characteristically grows upside down on small bushes which give them the appearance of floating, almost like little balloons, tethered to the plant by delicate stems. Usually, upon being plucked, the fruits will first attempt to float away. However, after a few hours, they usually settle down and can be dried, stewed, or otherwise used. The term dirigible means able to be steered or guided, and is thought to enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. A little bit of muggle trivia, the term dirigible also refers to a self-propelled airship such as a blimp or zeppelin, which float much like dirigible plums also do. Dirigible plums are grown in Hogwarts' own greenhouses. The dirigible plum is also known to be considered a delicacy when used as an ingredient in desserts such as the holiday blancmange, of which dirigible plums is the primary ingredient. Fun fact, this is a dessert that our own dear Severus Snape is quite fond of. It is also taught in his potions class that they are good for one's health in small doses, though the pits of the plums can be used in some euphoria elixirs as well as some hallucinatory potions, and may be created by some witches or wizards as a recreational potion. However, it is said that the effects from these is mild and not worth the effect of plucking, catching, and preparing the fruit. Aside from the fruit itself, the wood of the plant is known to have been used by some wand makers, creating wands which have a tendency to float out of the grasp of the one holding them if the individual is not their master or has not been given permission by their master. And that concludes lesson one of our Herbology watercolor series. If you enjoyed watching how I made this, feel free to subscribe for more vintage, geeky, crafty goodness. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all at the next lesson.